Dear Batman, I have a bat house, but I haven't seen any bats using it. Can you tell me why? Well, I'm going to start with the assumption that you're not severely nearsighted or blind, and that visually you can see just fine, and that the issue is that you haven't noticed any bats at your house. Well, first you need to look at where the bat house is, the environment. Bats don't like cool temperatures. They don't like our room temperature. Bats like 85 to 100 degree weather. That's why they like our attics. So if you look at your bat house and you've done a, a good job when you hung it, making sure that it's nice and comfortable and in the shade and away from everything, then that could be a reason. You're going to want to take that bat house and move it out into the sunlight. Next is the height of the house. House needs to be at least 10 to 12 feet high. A little higher is better, 16, 18, even 24 feet. The reason for that is, is that bats, most species, can't take off from the ground. Once they hit the ground, they have to go climb somewhere and fall two to three feet to get started in flight. So when you have a bat house that's too low to the ground, even eight feet up, let's say that they drop and they have to fall three feet and get air under their wings and take off and start flying. Well, if anything at all goes wrong, they're too low or if there's a predator waiting for them, they don't have a lot of maneuvering room before the ground comes up in a hurry. They get stranded on the ground, then it's pretty much all over for them. So we need to move it out into the sunlight, make sure it's 10 to 12 feet high. Facing south to southeast would be typical, so that when the sun comes up in the morning, that house catches the heat. Again, try to get that temperature up to be like your attic as quickly as possible. That leads to the color or the shade of the house. The color is really not important. It can be pink, purple, green, blue, black, doesn't matter. It's the shade. How much energy does that house absorb during the day? How fast does it heat up? How hot does it get? One thing that you can do if you think the temperature may be an issue is go get one of those thermometers that has the long outdoor lead on it. Go up, make sure there's no bats in the house first. Go up and put that lead up into the house. One way that you could do that is actually take a short stick, uh, tape it to the end of it, run it up into the house so that it's near the top, and then clamp it onto the landing board or staple it or something of that nature, and then run the lead down and get the head of the thermometer down so you can read it and see what the temperature is in the house. If you come out during the day and the temperature in that house in the middle of the day is 78 degrees and it's a nice sunny day, typical summer day, then your house isn't getting hot enough. You might darken the color of the house. If you come out and the temperature up there is 145 degrees, then the house is too hot. You need to lighten the color. You can paint it a shade of gray or white, something to match your house and get the temperature under control. So let's say we have the temperature right and that the house is high enough and we're still not seeing bats in the house. We need to look at the location of the house, not just for the height, but what's around it. If you have it in a tree or near a tree or near overhangs, there may be hawks or owls waiting for the bats to come out of the house. And they don't like to be eaten, um, but they're a natural part of the environment. Predators are there. So when the bats leave, they want a nice, big, clear, open space to leave and, and get maneuvering room. If there's a branch four feet away with a big owl sitting on it or a hawk sitting there waiting, then the bat doesn't stand a chance, and it won't take too many of their buddies getting eaten before the bats decide to move to a different neighborhood. So if you've cleared that up, the house is in the right place, there's no imminent predators around, uh, the temperature seems good on the house. The next thing to look at on the house is going to be just the construction of the house. Is it uh, tight, weather sealed, is it leaking? Uh, what's the general condition of the house on the inside? Are the chamber sizes the correct size? You don't want them any more than about a, one and a quarter inches. Three quarters of an inch chamber is about right. That seems to be the sweet spot. 
Um, then look inside the house. Has anything else taken up residence in the house? Down here in Georgia, we have what we call dirt daubers or mud daubers. They're basically a, a type of wasp that build these mud nests, and they can really close up anything, including bat houses, pretty quickly. So you're going to want to get rid of those. Uh, might want to do it late in the evening, shine a light up in there, make sure there's no wasps. And if you have a larger chamber house, an inch, one inch chamber or larger, you may have wasps that have built up in there. You're going to want to get those out. Again, be very careful around wasps. Let someone else do it if you're allergic. Better yet, if you have a buddy that you, you know he's not allergic, you like to do things to, you know, really cause him some fun, go out there with a video camera, take a long stick, tell him to clean it out, put it on YouTube. But I didn't tell you to do that. But it might be a good laugh. You never know. Um, once you've done all that, really the only thing that you can do is just make sure that the house is right, the environment's right. There should be water, usually within a half a mile of your house. Uh, can be further. Bats will go a long way to eat and drink. And a pool will serve as a water source. A, a small water pond, uh, those little koi ponds around houses can serve as a water source for bats as well. Once you've done all that, then you just have to pay attention. It's still possible that you do have bats using the house and you just don't know it. Your area may only have enough to support maybe a half a dozen bats. There may be five or six in there and you may never notice that they're in there. One way to tell is to go look during the bright day. Take one of those real bright spotlights that deer hunters shouldn't be spotting deer with at night and shine it up in the house. Look up there and see if you see any uh, kind of dark lumps way up high in the house. Another thing to do is to look down on the ground, look for black specks. Um, that would be the guano that's falling out. If there's not a lot of bats, you may not see it. There's a few, you may see it, little spots on the pole itself. Um, the other thing that you can do is to camp out on the house, essentially. Go outside, sit down, and wait. Now, you're going to have to start at about, depending on where you are, as, as early as maybe 5 o'clock in the evening, and watch it as time goes on, and you may see one or two bats leave the house that were in there during the day. You can also use an ultrasonic bat detector. Turn that on. Listen. If they're in there, you'll hear them start chirping. Um, the ultrasonic bat detector is also good to detect bats in your area at night. You can turn it on. We've got a video on this. If you'll uh, look on our channel, look for it. Bats echolocating. You can actually hear the bats as they echolocate to search for their food. The moral is don't give up. Just... Um, Make sure everything's good, and when the bats like it, they'll move in. We've had people that uh, have called after three or four years, and they're thrilled. We have bats in our bat house. It took them three or four years to get them, and then we've had people that, while they're trying to hang the house, the bats are flying around them. So there's, there's not necessarily a rhyme or reason about it. Keep up the persistence, make sure everything is good, and look at it as you're providing a roosting opportunity for the bats, and feel good about that. And we appreciate uh, your support. We appreciate the questions. Keep them coming. If you've got any more, let me know. Have a good day.